Hey everyone! For today's Colors of the Rainbow show, I'll be showing off this unique little meteorite here. So at the time of filming, this stone is provisionally named Rantilla, although it is currently under classification, so that could change. It is an observed fall, probable aubrite that fell in Gujarat, India on the 17th of August earlier this year, 2022. If you'd like to learn more about aubrites, go check out the awesome Knowledge Bolide Hangout from September 8th, 2021. So about this stone, it is a 1.72 gram stone that shows the typical light interior observed with aubrites, uh, as well as the characteristic gorgeous tan, caramelly colored fusion crust that you usually see on aubrites as well. So this stone, in addition to the white interior and the tan fusion crust, does show some kind of orange spots on the inside. Uh, now these are not weathering, they're, they're not any sort of oxidation, anything of that sort. It's, it's part of a stone. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but that is not all. This meteorite is hiding a whole lot more. Because when exposed to UV light, this meteorite actually fluoresces. So just, you know, very simply, fluorescence is the process by which a material absorbs a photon of light, promoting an electron from a low-energy ground state to a higher-energy excited state, uh, followed by the subsequent and nearly immediate re-emission of a photon of light at a longer wavelength um, as the electron relaxes back to the ground state from that excited state. So quite simply, light gets absorbed, light gets emitted. So fluorescence, for that we would be looking for different minerals, different crystals within the stone, and we do see that there are a couple. Um, up at the top here, you can see kind of catching the light, there is a small noticeable one. If we look around a little bit more, see that there's another one kind of on the side here. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Over on the crust here, it's kind of interesting. There are a few crystals that are actually poking out of the fusion crust. Right here and right here. So these are ones we want to kind of take a look at uh, if we're going to be looking for fluorescence in this. Well, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like under fluorescent light. All right, so I'm going to start with the fusion crust. Remember, I pointed out a couple of crystals that'll be interesting to look for. So this is what it looks like under white light. I'm going to switch that off and turn on my UV light. Now, this is 365 nanometers. And you can already see some really great colors. Uh, those two crystals that we had poking through the fusion crust here and here, they fluoresce in this beautiful red color. So there's our start to the rainbow. Now let's see what else we can find. Right here on the side, just under the fusion crust, next to some small red crystals, we've got our orange crystal, our first orange crystal. And that is all just on the side of the fusion crust. All right, we'll turn it back on. We'll spin this around to the interior to see what we can see of any crystals that might be on the interior of this aubrite. Remember, we pointed out a couple of crystals, larger ones, uh, that we could see just with the naked eye. Now we turn on the flashlight, the UV flashlight, and we see just colors everywhere. And we already start to see, again, you know, oranges in the middle, reds on the left. Here we're down to some yellows. The top here, these kind of greenish colors. So now we've got red, orange, yellow, and green. If we turn the meteorite to the side, they're a little bit harder to see, and they're definitely a little bit harder to pick up. But there are some bluish, purplish, fluorescent crystals over on this side as well. So we've covered basically every color of the rainbow now. Just with this one meteorite and the fluorescence that it has. It's just the astonishing number of crystals, the astonishing amount of fluorescence that you have in this one meteorite is, is absolutely insane. As you look around, you can see just different crystals everywhere and, you know, here, we can actually see a really, really large crystal on the end in this kind of yellowy into orange uh, fluorescence. So I want to take a, a look at this under white light to see what this crystal looks like uh, when it's not under the UV. So you can see it's, it's a pretty large protruding crystal here on the side. There we are. Yeah. So that, that is a rather sizable crystal, has some really nice fluorescence that we just saw. And that's what it looks like under white light. Not terribly different from the rest, but you can, you can definitely tell it is a crystal of something. 
and they're just all over the place on this on this meteorite. So let me see if I can again now that we can know what we're looking for. Check out that large crystal again. I think this is a really cool piece. So and getting the UV light over it. Yeah, again, you can see just it's really nice orange. There's another large crystal to the left of it that has some yellows. And actually on this side, we even see more more blues and purples uh, just above that. So, you know, even you know, rotating in the back right now, again, just, just admiring everything. You look at this and you can see reds, orange, yellows, greens, and just on the right side there, blues and, and purples. So you've got the entire rainbow in this one gorgeous little piece. So just such a fun piece to look at. So cool, um, you know, to look at under white light and then just to see what it has hiding when you shine the UV light on it. It's, it's, it's such a fun piece to play with. All right, I hope you enjoyed our little hunt that found pretty much all of the colors of the rainbow in this single meteorite. I personally think it's one of the most awesome meteorites out there, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the final classification when that gets published. Uh, all right, thanks everyone.